It's Dave. Out here at the property. Um, it's Thursday, August 19th, I think. Yes. Anyway, um, out here to do a few things, but the primary thing is to install a 12 volt utility outlet on the Honda Rancher. So as you know, this year we got the Honda Rancher to help out and replace the UTV, sadly looking over there, um, need some help. So I gotta get a position where I can get the parts and get that up and going again, like it should be. But in the interim, I got the, at the Honda sitting and waiting. And so let me show you what we got. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna flip you around. All right, Dave out. All right, what I got, I got instructions from Honda. I got the 12 volt accessory socket. So I got the plug-in outlet and I got the wiring harness. And so going through the instructions, so I've got to take, I gotta take my front basket off. And then looks like I gotta remove this piece of plastic which will give me access to then removing this piece of plastic, the center. Because if you look over here, where we want the outlet to end up is right here. So that's where I'll drill the hole and actually end up placing it. Honda's already pre-wired for it, so that's why it's just a pigtail I gotta plug in. So it should be play and go. Um, so drill a hole once I get this piece of plastic off. So for now, the project is get these uh, different pieces of plastic off. We got this metal rack to take off. And uh, let me run through it as we do it. So, all right, Dave out. All right, next up, let me take the basket off and then this metal rack and then we can get to the plastic. All right, hold on a minute. So it looks like 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter sockets. So I'm gonna use my impact driver. And let's see. And a crescent wrench. Yeah, maybe because the next two are underneath. All right, let me show you the two bolts we gotta get out of here. So, one is right there. So that's the 12 millimeter. And then I'm gonna flip you upside down. And you can see the one right there. It's right, almost right above the tire. That's 10 millimeter. All right, let me get the one with the 12 millimeter socket first because it's easier to grab. And so it's kind of awkward. Okay. So get this one up here. I'm 
just going to repeat it on the other side. All right, so got all the bolts out. So with all the bolts out, in theory, this should just lift right up and off. And hey, it did. Way to go, Honda. Now this gas tap cap's got to come off. So looks like I got one, two, three, four, eight of those. Um, I have a couple up here too. Let's see if the screwdriver works gently. There's one. So that seems to work. Just a gentle pry up with the screwdriver. I put a narrow enough blade where it fits into this, this little channel on the part right there. So I put the blade into the channel and then lift up. See, so that seems to be working. And then I drop one. But it looks like we have to access get to open my gas cap let's try it over get this out of the front and then out yeah, that's way do it. and then I am connected I have to undo that and there's a cord that is hooked into a little clip there this was so I got that done that runs the lights all right let me go what we got going on now so that's the plastic hood that we just took off. I took the hood and fastened it to my table. Because here's where we want to make our cut. And actually, it's kind of shaded out a little bit. But they got a template, so I'm going to cut my template out. Put the template up, draw it, score it. And then uh, I got a couple drill bits we got to use. And we'll get that going. So that's the next thing, is to get this housing put in here so we can put the outlet in so it all goes together as one piece all right dave out all right so i got my template put on and how this will work is here's your outer piece here's a rubber sealer that goes on the inside this screws on this once it's through here and it holds it all together so what I got to do is I got a hole, a hole, and then a bigger hole. And then I use a Dremel tool to connect them all. And it'll give me my cutout that should fit that. That's the goal. We want to fit that. So I might have to do a little hand trimming. But anyways, here we go. Dave out. All right, let me get the Dremel tool. All right, got my Dremel tool hooked up and I put a, it says the directions say to use a, like a routing uh, point on it, but I'm gonna try it with a, with a little cutoff saw, see how that does. That'll work. All right, so let's put the pieces together. Do, do, do. So that was a rubber washer that I just attached to this. And your plug orients to this little notch. There's a little notch right there. And there's a little notch on the plug. 
And so I'm gonna orient it to that. It should pop right in there. Then you got this washer on the back. Voila. All right, let's work through this wiring together. So, this piece is the plug that goes onto and replaces this dummy. This is just a dummy end, it's all blocked. So, that replaces this. This end goes onto the um, 12 volt accessory. So, that end will go up into here. This end goes right here. So we'll not put that one on just yet, but we're gonna put this one on. And it comes with its own replacement little grommet. So I'm gonna take this grommet off, try to back it out through this plastic like that. And then let's get this false little dude off of here. And it looks like I got a small screwdriver. We can do it that maybe I don't know this one's try lifting up maybe there we go well that should have worked oh, except you went back in man you're a persnickety little thing That was a battle. All right, so this dude, this then plugs into this. It's got this little clip on it. There it is. There. It had that on it and I didn't take it off. So anyways, there we go. And then this goes back into here. All right, so now we're ready for that to hook in. These two, one of these is for the, um, one is for a uh, winch, and the other one's for a heat um, for your hands, if you want hand warmers on it. I don't have either of those right now, so we're just gonna zip tie it up, and they give you a little zip tie to use. So that's what we're gonna do. All right. There we go. Now we just need to get our piece of plastic on. Back on, as you can see, plastic's back on. And it popped on, do the front first, then the back, I saw the back loose, because I want to put this on. So you can see I've got my pigtail here, and it looks like you can see it right there is the outlet. So that's what it hooks onto. And it looks like it orients. So there's a little knob here that orients onto a thing there. So let's see if we can put that on. Let's see what we got going on here. There we go. There we go. And yep, you heard a click. I don't know if you saw it, but anyways, it was pushed on. So yeah, most important thing, pop it open. Let me get something to see if it works. Hold on a minute. All right, let's put this thing to the test. So I got it open. It's got a nice waterproof seal on it. So here's a little uh, USB plug-in, and now it should glow blue when it works. And it's plugged in. So yeah, plugged in. Let me turn the key. It's gonna be hard to do. Hold a minute. Reach over with my gimp hand. And you see, yep, we got power. So it's working. Everything's fine. All right, so there we go. We got the, uh, 
got the outlet in. I'm just going to button everything up so everything goes back on just the way I took it off in that same order. Hey, it's Dave. All right, well, we got that one wrapped up. I'll show it to you here in a second, but everything's put back together. I could not find that other grommet, so that's the way it goes. I'll have to order some spares because I'm sure I'll lose some others along the way. So, um, so what made this uh, process easier, I think, with uh, two factors. One, Honda's engineered to have a 12 volt outlet. So it already had the wiring, so I didn't have to recreate a wheel there. And two, I ordered the OEM parts. So I ordered the 12 volt uh, accessory outlet from Honda and the pigtail from Honda. So everything just matched up really well. And the instructions they gave were spot on. So, you know, if if a old one-eyed fat man can do this without no problems, I'm pretty sure anybody could do this. It's not, not up there on the hardness scale. It's fairly simple. Um, it's just a matter of uh, disassembly and reassembly. And the parts that are new are all plug and play. So it was pretty simple. So I give Honda credit for that, made it real easy. Um, for me, I own the property, it means a lot because, um, yes, yeah, I can charge my phone, but most importantly, I can run um, things like my uh, spreader. So I can uh, spread fertilizer or seed with the uh, DR um, spreader that I have. And um, because it runs on, it has electric motor, runs on 12 volt. And so as I'm running the ATV, I can run that. So that that's a big plus for me. So I've got that ready to go and uh, and hopefully I can get uh, some fertilizer on the plots next week and <clears throat> the week after get it seeded so first week of September getting it seeded seems a little late but it'll be what it'll be all right there like I always say uh, well I say that I always say it, but you know it's never actually the same so I, I gotta stop saying that. so how about this one thanks for watching I really appreciate it um, especially if you're this far into it, it means you've watched it the whole way. Only about a select 20 to 30% of you do that, so I really appreciate it. The uh, other thing is, um, I like to put my hashtag make kindness your business right here at the end as a reminder for everybody. I should put it more in the beginning so more people would see it, but anyway, it is what it is. That's where I put it. So make kindness your business. It is a change of heart and a little act of kindness goes a long way. Once you do one, it's kind of contagious and it carries on. So just work on making some kindness in your life. Um, and and uh, I hope you have a great week and, um, and I hope you, uh, everything goes well for you. So um, that's it. Dave out.